Hello guys, welcome to the tutorial on Adobe Captivate 8. In this video, I am going to tell you how we can create Jeopardy game in Adobe Captivate 8. So this is a preview of final output how we will get uh, after creating this game. So when user will click on start, you can see there are certain levels, 3 levels are there or 3 topics are there, topic 1, topic 2 and topic 3 and in each level or each uh, topic there are 3 questions are there each question have certain marks or points that is in dollars, 10 dollars for the first question and 20 dollars for the second question and 30 dollars for the third question so this is the Jeopardy game which we can create using Captivate 8 Suppose if you want to customize these levels or topics and uh, the currency, everything you can do in uh, Adobe Captivate 8. So that's the best advantage in Adobe Captivate 8. So I will show you how we can create this one using uh, Captivate. So I will delete this question right now. So now we have one blank uh, slide here. So here we can create. Before that one, just I will show you. I have certain questions. These are simple uh, mathematical questions which we can use to create that uh, Jeopardy game. Here I am going to create a simple Jeopardy game uh, which uh, tests the users about uh, mathematical questions here. To create a Jeopardy game in Captivate 8, you need to use uh, interactions then you can see there is a learning interactions in the drop down menu just you need to click on that one then you will get a lot of interactions here as you can see when you will go down you can see there is a jeopardy game option so just select that one and click on insert so this is the menu where you can add all the questions and topics and if you want to customize the screens and if you want to customize the points you can do it here so from the starting you can see there is a game name if you want to change your game name you can change so right now I am creating a, a quiz about uh, mathematical questions so I will create give one name as math quiz then you can see end screen means after completion of this quiz what is the message which should be shown to the user so you can customize this one also so I will just uh, write it as congrats and if you want to customize instructions you can uh, customize those instructions here and in the right side you can see there is uh, certain options are there that is topic if you want to change topic names like right now there are only three topics that is uh, topic 1, 2 and 3 if you want to add more topic just you can choose whatever the number you want similarly you can add questions here but the limit to these topics or questions is 7 in this Captivate 8 so you can add up to 7 uh, topics or 7 uh, uh, columns here and uh, similarly you can add maximum 7 questions so after that one you can uh, just click on create grid so that uh, grid will be created here you can see 7 topics are created in each topic you can see 7 questions are added here so right now I have certain questions that is total 9 questions are there so I am going to create a grid of 3 into 3 and another option you here you can see is currency so if you want to change the currency that is points which will be allotted to the user you can change in this drop down menu you can see there are different currencies are there rupees euro yen so right now I will choose dollar only and again you need to click on this create grid so you can see here three topics are created in each topic three questions are there this is question 1 question 2 and question 3 similarly in other topics questions are there so first we need to add question in the topic 1 to add that one you can see there is a field in front of this question tag here you need to mention your question here and below you can see there are two answer that is answer 1 and answer 2 here you need to mention your answers suppose if you want to add multiple options or answers to the users in the right side you can see there is an option called add answer 
and uh, you need to click on that one then another answer or option will be added here as you can see and suppose if you want to delete to an option here you can use this option that is delete answer that third option is eliminated here as you can see right now there is only one selection is there means uh, there is only one correct answer suppose if you want to change that one to multiple answers you can check this option that is multiple selection then it will be treated as multiple correct options then there are other two options are there that is time and score here you can mention what is the time is allotted to the each questions that is uh, that is in terms of seconds so here you need to mention how many seconds user have to answer for that particular question here so similarly you can uh, give your own score here this is a basic method I will add first question here so first question is 1 plus 1 so user need to answer for that one in this question uh, field I will paste that one 1 plus 1 is equals to question mark so this will be the question and I need to add answers so I will add uh, some options here 4 5 and I will add another answer here that is 2 so here you can see 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 so third option is the correct one so I need to check this one so this will be treated as the correct one when user will give their option that will be cross verified with these options here and here you can see there are two other options that is correct answer feedback and incorrect answer feedback so this is nothing but a feedbacks which will be shown to the user after choosing their answer here if you want to customize these feedbacks you can customize these by just uh, selecting this text you can enter your feedbacks here so this is the method how we can add question here so just I will qu quickly add us uh, all the questions here then I will show you how it will look to the user right now I have added questions for the all three topics as you can see here in the topic 3 I have added questions you can see I have added all the questions here similarly in topic 2 so after adding all these questions suppose if you want to customize screens which are shown to the users you can see at the bottom there is one right arrow mark is there you need to click on that one here you can see so these are the screens how it will look to the users at the top you can see there is a start screen means this is a start screen and if you click on that drop down menu you can see there are two other options grid so this is a question uh, window where questions will be shown to the users and the third option is end screen so this is the final screen which will be shown to the users if you want to customize color of these screens you can see at the top game background you need to click on that one and you can choose whatever the color you want you can see here that is reflecting here so similarly if you want to add it for uh, some other screen you can choose that screen here great and again you can see there are two options are there topic background so this is the background of this topic here and you can select that topic background here so similarly cell background means this is the background so if you want to customize that one you can customize here by selecting that color here so this is not a good color so I will just select uh, a mild color okay now you can see uh, those uh, colors are reflecting here after customizing uh, these colors go back and you can see here there is a ok button you need to click on that one now you can see it's added on the screen here to preview how it will look to the users choose this option preview and click on project you can see this is the starting uh, screen which will be shown to the users and you can see here math quiz so this is the title which uh, I have given here then user need to click on this start option and you can see here those colors are reflecting here and you, may, you can observe here for the first question I have added 
seven marks that is seven dollars for that one so this is the jeopardy game so user can select to whatever the question out of these nine questions here so user can randomly pick any question here so this is the question which is appearing to the users you can see here 20 minus 3 is equals to question mark so user need to select their answer then there is a submit option and you can observe in the right uh, bottom side there is a timer is running here so based on uh, user input uh, feedback will be given to the user you can see this is this answer is wrong because 20 minus 13 is not 8 so and again user can select other questions also what is 1 plus 1 that is 2 then I will can click on submit you can see that uh, correct feedback is shown to the user here so similarly user can attend any questions out of these nine questions and here you can see the score will be shown to the users so guys this is how we can create a jeopardy game in adobe captivate 8 thanks guys for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel that is e4 e-learning